Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Um, we've got a bit of a situation today. If you joined me on last night's live stream, I don't know when this is going out, but last night for me, we had the live stream um, and we had to deal with a little issue. And as you can see behind me, this is Humphrey's tank and Humphrey's not in it. So there's a bit of a story here, please bear with me. So the story starts with these guys. This is my discus tank. I have a discus display tank in the house. which had all kinds of problems, but I had a, a brand new tank delivered almost a week ago now, uh, which is going to house these guys. So these are here temporarily while I was waiting for the new tank to arrive and then be set up. New tanks here, but at the moment it's a bit more furniture than it is fish tank because it's so heavy. I don't have anyone in the house that can help me lift it up and get it into place. Uh, so I'm just waiting to find some friends, make some new friends. Anybody want to come to Sheffield help me? Um, get that sorted out and get these guys in there. But the issue was this tank has sprung a small leak. So it's nothing terrible, it's not going to be a, a massive issue, but what I don't want to do is just leave it and then have it become a massive issue and have this tank burst. So I wanted to get them out quick. I couldn't get the tank in the hall upstairs in the main house, the display tank set up quick enough because I'd have to get it into place, get it set up, move everything across, um, get it up to temperature and then move the fish in. So my original idea was I need to find a new tank for these and the only other tank that I've got of a decent size is Humphrey's tank, which is this one here. So that means we need to find a new home for Humphrey, which we did. So live on stream, we moved Humphrey across the mega tank and it was a great success. I can't think of any other way to describe it other than that. So a little bit about mega tank, if you haven't heard of it before, this is my DIY build, it's plywood aquarium. It is, the inside measurements are eight foot by four foot by three foot, roughly two and a half thousand liters, maybe a little bit more. And Humphrey, my flower horn, is loving life in there. He's having a great time. The tank is something that I use as a bit of a temporary office setup as well. So I normally have my office set up here and the plan was in time that I'd make all this a little bit more beautiful and fit it in properly. And then I'd have that as my backdrop for my work. And having only been in there a day, even just during the live stream last night, it was fantastic just to see Humphrey swimming past me and going, what's going on? Hey, come on, buddy, lad, give us some food. He's loving it. But I was, I got to the point where Mega Tank, if you haven't been here before, has been a massive pain in the bum, basically. It's leaked, it's done, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong at one point, but we fixed. It's been running for over two weeks now without issue. So, fingers crossed, we're there. And got to the point of thinking, what am I going to stock in there? I have no idea. Went through every iteration of, oh, let's have printers. Oh, let's have a big discus tank. Oh, let's have just monsters. Let's have loads of tiny fish. So for now, it's Humphrey's tank. He's going to get a little bit of a chance to spread his fins, do his thing, dashing back and forward. Um, yeah, just having loads of space. He's been treated really poorly, in my opinion. When we moved this house here, he spent longer than I wanted them to in tanks that were a little bit too small for him. And the tank he's in now is fine, but this is fine plus plus. So he's going to get a little bit of a chance in there. But it has made me think of, hmm, maybe there's another option. So, my request to you guys is, is there anyone out there who has a flower horn community tank? Is there anyone out there who's got flower horns living happily with other fish? My kind of thought was, yeah, big South American cichlids of a similar temperament and size. You know, Oscars and the like. Um, there's plenty of space in there. I can get some wood in, some stones, get some stuff so they can create territories and things like that and basically just have a bit of me time if it does get a bit too aggressive. But I just need to make sure I have the tank space available that if it doesn't work, I've got somewhere to put all the other ones. But yeah, let me know in the comments, what kind of things are you interested in? Uh, or have you seen working, more importantly? But for now, I think no one complained that the tank isn't big enough for them. 
My biggest concern about moving Humphrey, any time I've ever moved Humphrey, even when it's a smaller tank to a bigger tank that's plenty big enough, he is a sulky bugger. He goes and sits in the corner and goes dark and says, I'm, I'm not happy, I'm in a mood, I'm not having any of this. It happens all the time when I do water changes, when I, any time I change anything, he's a proper personality and he lets me know that he's not having fun. So I was expecting, because I was doing this on live last night, I was expecting that I'd put him in and he'd just fly straight down, go into the corner and sit there and sulk. But he didn't. He went in and he went, oh my God! and swam around and explored and has been doing this ever since. He's been loving it. So clearly he's happy there and he is the kind of mascot of the channel if you like. So I'm happy that he's happy. So for me, that just means I need to get his tank cleaned out and drained, refilled, uh, and then move these discs over. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to see if I can rustle up some children and friends, family, see if I can get some people to actually help me set up the big tank because I'd like to just move them once more. It's stressful moving fish at the best of the time, so if I can avoid it, we'll see. So I don't know about that, but that's a job for, that's a job for future Graham. That guy sucks. Today I just wanted to tell you about Mega Tank having its first inhabitant. I know if you're on the live stream you've seen most of this, but I think it deserves a video all on its own just to mark the occasion. Some people said this would never happen. I was one of them. But we've now got a fish living in Mega Tank, and I get to work and see something going on in the background. Uh, I've got no decorations in or anything like that yet. Um, that's that, that can all come with time. He's perfectly happy with the space and got loads of space. And interaction is with me through the glass. He gets his nourishment from that. The one problem with my plan, if I do intend to move him back into another tank, I've got no idea how I'm going to catch him. <laughs> I've made a massive mistake. Uh, without getting in there or potentially draining the tank somehow it's going to be a bit of an issue yeah, I think I made, made a terrible mistake at least it'll give me a good thumbnail apologies if I used that bit quick bitty how good is this? some other updates about Mega Tank in general um, so I've added a couple of extra lights you just got these uh, LED strip lights so the lighting for Mega Tank is two floodlights, so the two 15 watt LEDs that are kind of up here, as you can see them. And then I've got two of these, uh, oh, which aren't on. So let me show you the difference of them when they're on. These lights are controlled by the Felix. So I've got the Felix Smart down here. It's controlling the pump, uh, which is running in the sump down here, returning everything. Uh, it's controlling the heaters and it's controlling the lights. Um, I've just not set everything up on schedules yet. But I'll give you a, a kind of live preview of how we do this. So this is the lighting with just the LED floodlights. Which is fine, um, but a little bit brighter wouldn't hurt. And if we go into my Felix Smart, you can see it without the, the thing. So I've actually got two Felixes, so I need to change it to the Mega Tank Felix. Uh, so I'm controlling the rack lights, which is these lights on here with the Felix. So they should come on momentarily, like so. And I'm controlling the tank lights. There's one, and there's the other one. So, as you can see, it's plenty bright enough. Probably not good enough to grow plants and things, but I'm not trying to grow plants in there. Hello. So I'm pretty happy with that. It also creates pretty good lighting for videos, which is a nice bonus. But anyway, that was it today. I just wanted to show you Humphrey and his new digs and ask you the question I asked earlier. What have you seen out there that works well? What have you experienced that works well? Are there big tanks with flower horns and different cichlids mixing together? Multiple flower horns? Uh, I don't know. Is this a silly idea? I know I have plenty of them. Let me know in the comments, see what we think. Uh, as always, every Friday, 9pm, join me in my live stream, ask us any questions you want, and go and watch another video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Bye! Humphrey says bye too. <laughs>